Hey guys, welcome back to A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. I'm your host, Tasha Bradley. Thank you all for tuning in each and every Wednesday, giving me ear time. You are appreciated. Big shout out to our international listeners. I hope my voice finds you all doing well. If you're new to hearing my voice, welcome aboard. Thank you for pushing play here on A Daily Dose of Love. I'm encouraging self-love through self-care. So feel free to go through the content. We have amazing stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend and get to know me. Thank you again. Hey, guys, I'd like to thank you all for being patient. There wasn't a show on Wednesday. I do apologize. I figured I would hold off until today, which is Friday, and give you all like a bonus uh, Mother's Day weekend, uh, something to listen to for those of us who are going through the uh, Mother's Day blues, which is what I'm going through. And as I've seen online, a lot of you are. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. But as you all know, it isn't Wine Wednesday, but we're going to say it's a fuck it. It's Friday. (laughs) So what's in your cup? It's Friday. We're getting ready for a Mother's Day. On Sunday, today is May 12th, so I don't know what you have in your cup. You probably aren't even prepared, but I have a mimosa. It's champagne mixed with pineapple juice. I like to do mine with pineapple juice instead of uh, orange juice, so I know you probably aren't prepared. Maybe you have something in your cup. If not, because it isn't Wine Wednesday, but it's fucking Friday, okay? (laughs) So on three, if you have something, go grab something, and uh, we're going to do a uh, cheers We're going to do a toast to all the amazing mothers, whether they're here, if they're in heaven, if you are a mommy getting ready to be a new mommy, if you're a new mommy, if you've had a rainbow uh, baby, you know, you've miscarried or anything, we're just going to salute all of us. If you've been a mother figure, a mentor, a grandmother, an aunt, a sister, a cousin, just any woman who's influenced and love anyone with that motherly love. So that's what we're going to cheers to, okay? One, two, three. Cheers. All right, that was good. As you all know, we're going to be celebrating Mother's Day on um, Sunday, which is the 14th. And I know a lot of us are going through it. You know, if your mother isn't here, as I've said here prior, my mother truly loved Mother's Day. So this is very difficult for me. And I've been in my feelings, of course, because um, I broke down yesterday morning and I was thinking if only I could have brunch, my mother would enjoy a brunch. You understand? I used to, you know, serve her breakfast then we would give her lunch, then we would give her dinner. So I always really spoiled her and, you know, showered her with gifts on Mother's Day. That was her day more than any other day. She loved Mother's Day. So it's really difficult for me. And at the time my mom passed, you know, brunch wasn't, I don't know if anyone else in the world was celebrating, but we weren't. And um, I just wish that I could, uh, you know, just pull out a spread for her and have a most amazing brunch. So that's really hurt me, but I'm definitely going to have a nice brunch. I'll fix for my sister Brandy. She's a mother. You know, my baby sister Jasmine's resting in heaven with my mother. So that's uh, comforting. Maybe those two are together and Jazz is driving her crazy as she did me here. So after my mom left, so that kind of makes me smile. But I'll have a really nice brunch with um, my sister Brandy. I'm planning on making um, chicken and waffles. I'll have uh, some butterscotch waffles, some my 11 herbs and spices, uh, chicken wings. I'm going to do fried lobster tails and a macaroni and cheese with assortments of fruit. And of course, I'm stuck now between the sangria and um, making mimosas. So trying to figure that one out. We'll get it all together. Anywho, I hope that you all are going to have an amazing day. I know, like I said, a lot of us are suffering from the Mother's Day blues. I did a poll last week on my social media. As you all know, I conduct polls weekly. And this one here was in regards to, you know, your relationship with your mother. It says, what's your relationship like with your mother? And our Facebook group, it says better than before, 50%. Always great, 41%. And non-existent, 8%. On Twitter, we have... What's your relationship like with your mother? Better than before, 33%. Always great, 33%. 
and non-existent 33%. That was our Twitter audience. And our Instagram audience, it was just 100% always great. So that is the results from our polls. I'd like to thank everyone for always, uh, you know, participating. And um, I'd like to break it down. Mother's Day is a celebration honoring the mother of the family or individual as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and influence of mothers in society. It is celebrated on different days in many parts of the world, most commonly in the months of March or May, observed by 40-plus countries. Remember, it's May 14th, that's Sunday. So that's just uh, us celebrating mothers as mothers need to be celebrated every day. You know, they're the backbones of the family. But I know a lot of us, like I said, we're in our feelings because our mothers are no longer here. A lot of folks have a lot of different reasons for um, missing their moms or how they miss. I know my Aunt Darlene down in Mississippi. This is really difficult for her because my grandmother passed on Mother's Day, you know, some many years ago. But uh, those, you know, feelings don't die. So happy early Mother's Day to you, Aunt Darlene. I hope you have an amazing day. I know you'll be thinking about your son, Fruit. I know he wants to tell you he loves you. I know he's surrounding you with love every single day. That's my cousin who passed away, my aunt's firstborn. And uh, I'd like to just give a Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to you on behalf of your son. He loves you. He's always surrounding you, you know, that auntie, and we love you, and uh, happy Mother's Day. You know, Joy's going to be sending you some love, too. My cousin Joy just recently passed. Rest in peace. So happy Mother's Day to my Aunt Darlene and to all the mothers out there, whether you're a new mother, you're a mother with, you know, having difficulties with your children right now. Hopefully things will work out if you have a relationship with your mother that is you know been on and off just always work to make it better i know you can't forgive everything and at all times but uh i had posted something on facebook the other day and it uh read it was um okay wait a minute i'm looking for it because i have it written here oh this is a reminder to you all to uh never get tired of your mom's voice because one day you're gonna miss it forever and that is so so true right now if you are fortunate to have your mother you're probably saying she gets on my nerves the sound of her voice but one day that'll be the one thing that your heart will ache for you will long to hear your mother's voice you will long to see your mother smile to hear your mother's laughter those are all the things that you're going to miss so appreciate every single thing about your mom you know try and make up try and forgive try and forget try and let go i know some of us and some of you all have gone through some traumatic experience with your parents especially your mothers and you probably love people the way your mother loved you you know, a lot of us need to heal. A lot of us are toxic in our own ways. And a lot of us are extra loving as I am because I was surrounded with love. That's the one thing I am so fortunate in my life that I've been surrounded by abundance of love. And I thank God every single day that for my entire existence on this earth, I have truly, truly been surrounded by love. And my mother is uh, the person that gave me unconditional love and everyone else around me so I'm forever grateful but for those of you who have had um, some traumatic experiences with your mother you know you have to heal forgive forget and uh, just try and repair if your mother is here and if she isn't I know it seems like it's a lost cause of what you're feeling but you'll be better and if you've had a miscarriage if you've suffered a stillborn I know you also need time to heal And if you are taking the place of a mother, as they say, a bonus mother, I don't like to use stepmother, you're getting to know the kids and the other mother, the other woman, you know, you're making it work, I I, I salute you. And to all the grandmothers, the aunts, the big sisters and cousins and the women who've played roles in those people, you know, young people around your lives and older, we thank you, we appreciate you, we salute you. You know, mothers are mom is wow upside down because the things that mothers have to do to endure to provide for their children to uh hide all the crazy stuff 
in this crazy world to protect our children. It's a lot to be a mother in today's world. Always has been, but more than ever now. It's just a lot going on. So we want to say we love you. To all the mothers out there, may you have an amazing day. And if no one is going to celebrate you, please celebrate yourself. Love your damn self. If your children or no one wants to tell you that you did an amazing job and they're holding grudges or, you know, saying things that you didn't do or you should have done more of or less of, just know that you did the best that you knew how to do at the time. We're only working with the tools that we were given if you haven't healed. So, you know, don't beat yourself up. One day, if you have a separation from your children and they aren't talking to you hopefully they'll forgive you you'll forgive yourself forgive them and you guys will get back together but in the meantime celebrate yourself because sometimes you know a lot of parents it just doesn't come with a rule book I'm not a mother but I've mothered and nurtured many children I've raised up my siblings and countless of other children that I've uh, had an impact in their lives so I know the importance of spreading love and and, and being nurturing it's just it's in us as women to nurture those around us especially me because i'm genuine i'm a genuine human being i'm a loving woman and i love with all of my heart i love heart but when i let go i let go so it's like i'm balanced (laughs) i love you to death but i'll let that ass go if it's not working you understand so big shout out to everyone Who's out there loving someone, loving their mom, loving the children around them and just being amazing women. And for those of us who don't have our moms, just to remember the amazing memories, all the things that our moms used to say, you know, the the music they used to listen to. I was going to read off you guys a list of things that I had put on Facebook you know, some of your mother's favorite sayings and uh, <laughs> folks had some really good things. I know some of my mother's favorite sayings are this too shall pass. You can lie to the world, but don't lie to yourself and to always be your own best friend, to not be afraid to spend time alone. So I live with those things and to always take time out for yourself and to remain your individual self. So those are some of the things that my mom has given to me and I'd like to give a big shout out because I encountered some women who mothers are suffering from dementia and um, the mother that uh, they once knew is no longer there so I know that must be difficult to have a mother right now with an illness especially when it comes to the memory and them not knowing who you are who they are anything about their lives so that must be really difficult because although your mother's here she's not deceased it's almost like the mother that you grew up with and the mother you know and love she is gone you know she's no longer exists unfortunately so love to all of us children you know who are like I said lost mothers going through which your mother's still living but not able to connect with you and uh understand the relationship between the two of you you know you may be saying mom and she's looking at you like who is this person so i know that that's pretty uh, stressful and frustrating and and really heartbreaking when you think about it but i want to uh again if you're going to be with your mother you know give her a hug for me if you are without your mother i say we're the motherless children I'm hugging you, I'm loving you, and I want you to have an amazing day in spite of. You know, like I said, cook their favorite dish, play their favorite music, uh, pull out pictures, videos, call someone and just laugh over the memories and uh, just uh, make the most of it, okay? I wish you all have an amazing Mother's Day. Give all the mothers that you know love, whether it's your sister, your aunt, your cousin, because it's a lot being a mother. I want to leave you all with the jam of the week. We have three of them. The most important song that I come across when my, I was losing my mother, every night I was sitting in the room with her playing the radio, and I would be like, what is that song saying? Is it saying, Dear Mama? And one night I caught the entire song, and it touched me, and it changed me forever, and it's forever one of my anthems to my mom, and it's uh, Dear Mama by Tupac. It was released in 1995 off the album, me against the world that's like my all-time song when it comes to my mom as far as uh the time when i was losing her 
So Tupac, I always said he wrote that just for me. Thanks, Pac. Long live Tupac. And uh, the second uh, jam of the day, it's an all-time favorite. It's Always Love My Mama. I always love my mama. She's my baby girl. You only get one. You only get one. You really only get one. This was released in 1973 by the Intruders. There's some uh, guys out of Philly off their album, Save the Children. And my last jam of the week is Forever My Lady by Jodeci, which I always dedicated to my mom. This was released in 1991. I'm not sure if it was just a single. I didn't see where it was off of an album. But Forever My Lady, that's what she'll always be. I love you, Mama. May you rest oh so peacefully. Peacefully, sorry. Rest oh so peacefully, Mom. And to my baby sister, Jasmine. Rest oh so peacefully. Happy Mother's Day to you both. Up in heaven, wish heaven had a phone. And to all of you queens out there, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Happy Mother's Day. May you all have an amazing day. Please join my Facebook group, uh, Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. Facebook, find me on all social media. Please rate the podcast five star ratings wherever you get the podcast. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I'll be back. Thank you all for the patience again. Have an awesome Mother's Day. I love you all. Happy Mother's Day. One love.